What's up you guys, welcome to The Single Guy, I'm Lloyd and today I'm gonna to be talking about a trend or a movement that's all over the internet when it comes to getting women in pickup and that's social circle game. Now, <laughs> there's a lot of people that's talking about this, there's a lot of people that's saying it's like the be all, end all when it comes to pickup and the number one thing that attracts women. A lot of big companies are saying this, I'm not gonna mention any names. RSD. Now Todd Valentine had a great video where he talked about the truth of social circle game, so if you wanna check that out, it's on his uh, winner game website it's a great video having said that let's get right into it now what I want to talk to you about is I want to tell you what the reality of the situation is now I'm not saying that social circle game is bad I'm not saying it doesn't work what I am saying is that what they are advertising what they're saying is going to happen is a little bit exaggerated and on top of that I just don't think it's practical for the average human being to execute when it comes down to it for the average guy out there, I don't think social circle games should be your primary focus. Now, having said that, there's tons of good things about social circle game. First of all, it's if you see a lot, if you see a guy walk into a room with a lot of hot girls around him, do you think he's going to be more attractive than a guy who's not? Obviously, social proof definitely makes sense. Having meeting women that are friends through friends is definitely the best way to meet people. Some of the hottest girls that I've ever gotten have been through that. Um, what I'm saying is that the amount of effort to make it your primary focus and make it the primary way that you get women is just not worth it. I mean, I think having some of the principles in there, making sure that you have friends, making sure that you're meeting people in your life and meeting women through them who you can start a relationship with or sleep with or whatever it is, I definitely think is a good thing in life. Um, but I don't know if the ends justify the means quite in the way that they're saying them. First of all, the guys who do really well at social circle game, they usually have a job in the nightlife industry or they're usually uh, some sort of like promoter or coke dealer or uh, maybe they're like a photographer for like a, some model company or whatever. They have, um, or maybe they're just famous, you know, and maybe like they spend a lot of time going out and partying all the time, okay? These are the types of people that succeed in when it comes to social circle game. Most people, if you have a nine to five job or you're pursuing something, a business in another category, I mean, it's just not going to work for you. You're not gonna be able to put in the amount of hours. If you do, your business or whatever, your career is gonna suffer tremendously if you do this. Um, and the, you know, the saying is that you're the average guy, of the you're the average person of the people you spend the most time with. And quite frankly, if you want a couple strippers, promoters, and a Coke dealer to be your best friends, I mean, <laughs> what do you think that's gonna turn you into? So you have to ask yourself these questions. Also, the end results that you're gonna get from doing this. So I know a lot of guys who plan events and do that sort of thing are promoters. I kinda know their lifestyle. And yeah, sure, the girls that they get are hot. Like, they're tens. They're the hottest girls in the group. Um, but they don't get that much of them. Uh, they usually, like, I'll sleep with more women than they do f by a lot. Um, and they're just constantly surrounded by women. And their days consist of doing favors for other people. Their days consist of, like, you know, organizing events and trying to get people to come constantly on the phone. They're always on the phone. And I just don't know if them putting that much effort in to get the, you know, the five girls that they sleep with that year. Um, unless they're in a relationship, it might even be less. Um, the, if that justifies the means. Right now they're talking about, I see a lot of like the death of text game around where people just, the idea behind this is you just use your social media profile uh, to get to get girls that way. And you don't even really text them. They just kind of hit you up or you hit them up and they see your social media profile and they see how dope you are and they see your snaps and everything and you meet them that way and you sleep with them that way. If you want to make that the primary way where you're meeting women, um, it's going to take you a lot of work. You're going to be on your phone constantly. The more time you spend on your phone, the less time you can have meeting real women and having real sex. <laughs> As well, if you're the type of guy who's making it your mission to be friends with people that are high up in the social ladder or that get the super hot girls or whatever, there are always guys in the group that don't get laid. There's always guys in the frat house who aren't pulling. There's always guys at like that, you know, big 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 shot company that still have trouble at the parties that they go to. Um, the, the, you shouldn't be making friends and just by association think that you're just automatically gonna get girls from that. You still need to have uh, conversational skills. You still need to have game and all the stuff that we talk about and the fundamentals on this channel. If you leave the spot that you were from that's you have a big social circle built up, you're not gonna have that social circle anymore. What happens if you're put in a different location where you don't have those friends or connections that you made? 
you know, you're still gonna have to work on the fundamentals. So what am I saying? I'm not saying that social circle game is a, is a complete waste of time. I'm just saying it shouldn't be your primary focus because once you put in this much effort, you're gonna get, the results you're gonna get are not gonna be what you want. So I, in my life, I've definitely gotten laid through Instagram. I've definitely gotten laid through my friends and they've been really hot girls. But if I make it my primary focus, I don't have as much success. I don't have as much fun and I end up actually like hurting my life in the long run. So that's my advice to you guys. I'm not gonna tell you, you shouldn't do social circle game. If you're a guy who still thinks it should be your primary focus, good luck to you. But I want you to know the results that you're gonna get from it. So thanks a lot, you guys. Let me know what you think about this. Let me know what your experience is when it comes to getting girls through your friends. If you made it to the end of this video, consider subscribing. I come out with videos like this every single week and I'm coming out with an ebook on how to talk to girls. So stay tuned for that as well. Thanks a lot and good luck out there.